Hey there, I want to tell you about the time I rented this big building in Brazil. I bought a bunch of tools. I bought this beautiful 1977 bus with a clean title for 700 bucks. It was running and driving, except it uh, broke down on the way home. Uh, yeah, you can check the video about that here. And it was totally rust free, except uh, actually it had a bunch of rust and a ton of uh, Bondo. Um, this project turned out to be a lot more of a heavy job than I expected. Bondo in this thing is thick and it's kind of everywhere. This windshield right here, where this came out of, is pretty much held in by Bondo. Right here, I basically just poked my finger through. Just gonna clean everything out of here and continue on from there. Let's talk about Bondo for a minute. I knew that the front of this thing was full of Bondo, but the rest of the bus really didn't seem that bad. I mean, there was a few rusty spots here and there. There was a few spots with filler that were easy to identify, but it really didn't seem too bad. So I bought a few cans of paint stripper and a big tray to put them in and a broom. And I got to work just covering this thing in paint stripper. This stuff was just the worst. Uh, it was a terrible smell. I went through a whole bunch of cans. I think I used eight cans on this thing. I did one coat and scraped it all off and then I did another coat and scraped it all off and in the end we had to go back to wire wheels because the whole thing was covered in Bondo under the paint. So we got the roof all done. Inside in the cab is pretty good and we have been burning through these. Check this out. We've been going through discs like crazy and we're maybe like 75% done now. I'd like to take a moment to say that using wire wheels on grinders to remove paint from vehicles is super loud, unbelievably loud. We pissed off the neighbors all around the workshop. It was bad. We were grinding the paint off this thing for, I think, about two weeks off and on. By the time the bus was totally stripped, we needed to move shop. While I looked for a new place for us to move to, I built this rotisserie. Finally, we found a new place to move into that was bigger, brighter, and better in all ways. We actually made another video about this. You can check it out here where we save a bus and use it to help us move shop. We loaded the bus, which was on the rotisserie, onto a flatbed, and we moved on to the new shop. Except it didn't fit in the door. So the guy's pulling out here because it just hit the roof. After we moved shop, this bus got pushed to the side. There was other projects to do, 
and honestly it was in such bad shape that I kind of gave up on it for a while and just left it in the corner. But then, slowly, Bonani started picking away at it. We fixed the door hinges. We fixed the floor supports. We made the door shut properly. We put a new rear door hinge on it. We put a new floor in it. We pulled out a ton of dents. We fixed the floors in the cab. We even swapped out the front. And slowly but surely, this rusted and beat up cocoon metamorphosized into a beautiful metalworked butterfly ready for paint. So that is the end of this video. We took this rusted, beat up old bus and turned it into something that's gonna be good. And this bus is making the ultimate comeback. We pretty much gave up on it and it's gonna end up becoming a world famous bus. So the next video is gonna be about the paint work, the body work, that kind of stuff. And at the end of that video, we are gonna reveal the plan for this project. And you guys aren't gonna believe how this bus becomes world famous and what we have in store. So stay tuned and don't forget to check out the next one.